Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the most underrated things in Rust, and that would be this, the mixing table. So let's go over the mixing table because it was just added to the console edition of Rust, and if you're playing the PC edition Rust and you haven't used this, you've been missing out for a long, long time. So let's get into the mixing table and how to use it. So first off, looking at this mixing table, you can see that berries can be used to craft teas. These teas are basic teas, advanced teas, or pure teas. The way it works is basic teas are crafted using berries, advanced teas are crafted using basic teas, and pure teas are crafted using advanced teas. Depending on how good you are at berry farming, you might just start off doing pure teas the whole way through, or you might want to stick with basic teas. It really depends on your play style. If you're a farmer, you definitely want to just jump over to these pure teas because they really do add a ton of advantage to the game. But if you're not into farming, maybe you do want to do things differently. It really is up to you. Also, you're going to notice I'm not quite the best farmer, so I can't make a ton of teas here. But I will show you how this works because this is something that confuses a lot of people. So unlike a lot of things in Rust, you can't just dump all your components in and expect it to work. What you have to do is you have to look at the layout on the mixing table. So if we're creating a basic or T, what we're gonna need to do is put one bit of the, the yellow berries in the first and third slot. And then we're gonna need to put at least one blueberry in the second and fourth slot. Now we can hit start mixing and bing, bang, boom. We are going to have our tea. And don't worry, I'm gonna go over what every single one of these teas does. But first I wanna go over one thing that a lot of players are forgetting about or just not noticing. And that would be gunpowder. So the way gunpowder typically works is it takes 10 sulfur and 30 charcoal. If you know anything about numbers, you're gonna know that 10 plus 10 equals 20. And if you look at that gunpowder recipe, you're gonna notice that only 20 charcoal is used. So if you're a large furnace user, which most of you clan members are, you're gonna know that you can use less charcoal to create gunpowder if you use a mixing table. So let's go ahead and just do that. So we're gonna split it, put this in here, this in there. And we're gonna put in a thousand, a thousand. Now bing, bang, boom, we can start mixing. And the nice thing about mixing in a mixing table is you can just walk away. So I can go and take in the view while this gunpowder is being crafted. It really opens up a lot more time for you to go out and do activities other than doing absolutely nothing, sitting in your base, crafting things or roof camping, which I know a lot of you love, but come on, it gets really annoying for all of us who, you know, prefer to roam. Boom, it's all crafted just like that. So that's a lot faster way to get gunpowder than pretty much any other way that you could do it. Also note that along with gunpowder, you can create pistol bullets and low grade fuel, but the gunpowder really is a big advantage. Now let's go over what all these teas do and how much of an advantage they give, because that's important to note. And this is where you're really gonna know just how much this helps you. So first up, we've got the basic healing tea. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna be created using four red berries, and what the basic healing tea is gonna give you is plus 30 healing. So that means that your character is gonna be able to heal up plus 30. Next up, you've got the advanced healing tea, which is gonna give you plus five instant health, some hydration, which the basic tea does too, I just forgot to mention that, and plus 50 healing. And then you've got the pure healing tea. And what that's gonna do is give you 30 instant health, 30 hydration, and 75 healing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that instant boost and then you're also gonna just slowly be healing up as you go. Now, let's go down to the peer or T. So you've got a basic or T, which is gonna give you 30 plus hydration. All these T's give you hydration. I'm not gonna mention after this point. But in addition to that, it's gonna give you 20% plus or yield for 30 minutes. Next up, you've got the advanced or T. What that's gonna do is give you 35% or yield, plus 35% or yield for 30 minutes. And next, you've got the pure or tea, which is gonna give you 50% or yield for 30 minutes. So basically, you're gonna be doing 150% times the mining. So whatever it might take you an hour to get is now gonna take you like 45 minutes to get, which is pretty big of an advantage if you ask me. And these all only last for 30 minutes in case I forgot to mention that. Next up, you've got the anti-radiation tea. 
So what that's gonna do is give you the basic anti-radiation tea is gonna give you 5% radiation resistance for 30 minutes and plus 50% radiation exposure resist for five minutes. So what this means is basically you're gonna be able to take an extra 5% radiation without taking any damage. And then when you do start taking radiation damage, it's gonna be at a 50% slower rate. So next up, you've got the advanced anti-radiation tea that's gonna give you 15 plus 15% radiation resistance, and that's for 30 minutes. And then you get the peer anti-radiation tea, which is gonna give you 25% plus radiation resistance for 30 minutes, and that 50% radiation exposure resist, again, for five minutes. So again, these are really nice if you're gonna go into a monument, if you're thinking that you're gonna get into a gunfight at launch site or something like that, you can go in with a hazmat suit, you're gonna be taking radiation slower, and what that means is you'll be able to just have a little bit of an advantage if you're fighting someone out. So next up, we've got the ear wood tees. So the basic wood tee, what that's going to do is give you a 50% wood yield, extra 50% plus 50% wood yield for 30 minutes. The advanced wood tee, that's going to give you 100% wood yield plus 100% wood yield for 30 minutes. And then the pure wood tee is going to give you plus 200% wood yield for 30 minutes so that's crazy if you don't like farming wood you can literally just pop a pure wood tea and farm to your heart's content you're going to be getting 300 percent wood which means like you knock down one tree you're going to be getting like 2,000 wood which is nuts in my opinion now let's go into the basic scrap tea this is one of the more important ones in my opinion because it's one of the ones that's just way more useful like this is super useful because scrap is one of those things that early and mid game, it's super hard to get and super important to get as fast as you can. So that basic scrap tea is going to give you plus 100% scrap yield right off the bat, an extra 100% scrap. The advanced scrap tea is going to give you plus a 225% scrap yield. So the basic scrap tea was for 30 minutes. This tea is for 45 minutes, this advanced tea. And then the pure scrap tea is going to give you plus 350% scrap yield for 60 minutes. That is an insane amount of extra scrap in my opinion. It's 100% worth farming one of these up, especially if you got a little bit of a farm base going, you can plant these in your base, come back, you're going to be able to just create a pure tea right off the bat. Next up, we're going to be covering the maxed health tea. So the basic max health tea gives you plus five max health. So you're going to have five extra health for 20 minutes. The advanced max health tea is going to give you an extra 12.5 max health for 20 minutes. And the pure max tea, max health tea is going to give you 20 max health for 20 minutes. So if you pop this tea, you can have 120 health for 20 minutes, assuming you're fully healed up. That is just crazy in my opinion. And these teas are extremely underrated. I know a lot of people aren't using them, but honestly, if you pop these teas and start using them, you're gonna find yourself more successful farming, more successful running monuments, and a good bit more successful in PVP situations. You're not doing more damage, but you can take a lot more damage, 20% more damage, and you can heal up faster. This, is playing at the next level. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you're not using teas, tell me why you're being stupid down below in the comments. Until next time, peace.